All right, something that I did was uh, I just taped this ribbon back together just so I can use it as reference so that uh, because we have to make sure that all the wires they they don't just go from left to right they go in different areas like they attach and start at different areas like this one starts on the far left but it loops in and then comes in on the second one so you just have to be careful that you're matching all the wires up together um, and you won't want to solder to this very long because it will you can cook the board so it goes to the second one It's actually, it looks like it's just the first one loops around uh, and uh, before the second one, so you just m swap these. But after that, it looks like it's just, it's in order from left to right. So we can just zing them on now. All right, that is done. Now let's see if it worked. I'm gonna put the camera on manual mode. So, And look at the focus. So we're gonna disconnect the focus and everything. Um, and then I can actually, we can sell that on eBay. And that ribbon, this ribbon, if you don't tear your ribbon, you can sell these on eBay as well. People pay big bucks for these ribbons to repair their lenses. Anything that we don't use, dump it on eBay. We're, I'm gonna take this out, the autofocus and uh, the autofocus drive and it might give me an error and if it gives me an error message on the camera then we have to leave it in and we're just gonna hard glue the uh, manual uh, switch a uh, manual auto switch into manual mode dedicated so that it'll never run that drive but if we can disconnect that and not get an error message then we can sell that on eBay See how it likes this so far. I'm just gonna keep going until I get an error message. It's trying to run the focus, but it's not <laughs> able to. Well, that's not affecting it so far, so I'm going to unsolder this, the focus mechanism. So we're gonna unsolder these two tabs. Gonna cut this off. Okay, well, let's see if we get an error message. If, it, if we do get an error message, we'll put it all back. So in autofocus mode, it won't it won't shoot until we get it in focus, which is fine. So we'll just glue that to we'll glue that so it's open. There. Okay. So we don't need that. I'm gonna unsolder this ribbon here. Everything's working. This is starting to work. What else can we tear off? Is this totally working? I'm gonna put this on my Fidey Mark II and see how it reacts. Alright, let's see.
do a let's do a slow shutter and see. Yeah, I think it's I think we're good to go. I'm getting no errors. It doesn't care about focus, huh? I thought maybe I'd get an error message, but I'm not. So I can't shoot like that. I can shoot like that. All right, let's tear some of this off. So we don't need this. Don't need any of that. Don't need this. That's the focus switch. So we take all this off and just move the switch manually. So I'm going to cement that. into the right position. So, if you move the switch to, okay, okay, well, that way it won't shoot, if your camera's set up, it won't shoot until it's perfectly in focus um, to make sure you get in focus, but we don't want that because we're gonna be tilting it and everything. So we're gonna move it that way, which is into manual mode on the lens. So I'm actually going to cement it over this way. And this is just some accelerator, make it hard and quick. So now that is not going anywhere. It's stuck in manual mode. Make sure that the chemicals didn't destroy it. Test it again. Man, this is awesome. Now, I think we should cut these off. Hey, now, before I started this project, I realized that I'm probably going to run into some problems, and it's just a matter of size um, of the lens, because this chip plate I don't want to tamper with this thing. I don't know what I can and can't take off on this thing. Now it's got to fit inside and still be able to maneuver. Um, so we're going to have to chop stuff out of here. I'm actually going to hack it down, put the bellows on, and the bellows is going to attach to this end on here. Um, and then we can stuff it in and out like that. Um, actually, no, it doesn't matter because it's the bellows that's going to be moving. We'll be able to rotate the bellows as long as I can cut some of this down because to get infinity focus, you're going to have to push it way inside and it's going to have to clear. I guess if this is all gone, this is all gone, it's got to clear only this much because I want to leave some of this grip on so that with the mount, because I'm going to use this mount, I want the grip on so that I can put the lens on and we'll see how far I can cut down on it. So I'm going to chop some of this plastic off of here. I think that's the best thing, just get it slimmed down. What these three tabs are, this is what ran down inside of the barrel, the slots, so they can definitely go. Let's test it, make sure it's working. Okay, I'm at the point where I don't want to screw this up. So this 
is a two inch, I believe it's a two inch uh, boot. Um, I think this is two inches on here and it looks like it's tapered and then this is, uh, you know, it, it said two inches but it's narrower. Um, so this is gonna go on here. We're gonna chop it. It might only be three of these, right? I just don't want to screw this up though. So I think I'm gonna chop this off because I'm obviously not gonna use this. That's useless. So I'm gonna chop it off and see what this, how this fits in there. Nice thing about this lens is it's so cheap. It's so easy to hack up. <laughs> but optically, it's an awesome lens. It would be awesome to see how it compares with a the 45 millimeter 2.8 tilt shift. Scissors! I like that fit. I like that a lot. 